Do you guys believe that whoever wins the Art Ross race also should get the Hart Trophy when all is said and done no, this year? No, no, no. Okay. There, there's two. It's two completely yeah. separate categories. This, this, context, context plays a bigger role where the heart's concerned. Okay. Art Ross is purely a statistically driven. You had the award. most. You win this award. Exactly. This, what's your context for the Hart Trophy, though? Because it seems like there's one definition, yet yeah. sometimes the voters. Go towards I mean, another definition. Unless Nikita Kucherov just totally falls off the grid, which I don't think is happening. Um, I, I just and, and this is no disrespect to the other two that are that are in this discussion. And you probably want to add Matthews to that discussion, although he's not a Art Ross finalist, but could be he's a, win the rocket. He'll get some heart consideration. Um, to me, Kucherov, it, it's been a while that, since I've looked at this, but I don't know that the other two have their fingerprints on as much of the offense as a Nikita Kucherov does. Again, I think he is he is the most cerebral um, of that, you know, elite uh, sector of players we're talking about. Well, look at that. Next, For closest, me, next closest player has 82 points on his team. He's yeah. got 127 that's a significant gap. There's, there, there's a big separation. You, you go to Nathan McKinney and you look at the season that he's had, plus plus 32, mm -hmm. driving offense defensively. McKinnon, or sorry, Kucherov's plus five. Mm -hmm. This is where analytics in our day and age do mm -hmm. come into play, because you can do deeper dives on how much they've been to their team. Game-winning goals. McKinnon has more game-winning goals than Kucherov. Timely goals at at right times. This, this to me. It's not always about analytics driven, but you can do deep dives into these guys and see where their defensive posture have been. Have they been better on the defensive side of the puck? Uh, offensively, what have they meant? Driven, there's been more goals from Nathan McKinnon than there has been from Nikita Kucherov. Percent of offense, the big gap, yes, you touched on it. That is a big gap, but Brain Point has 42 goals. Kucherov has 42 goals. There's there's another player on his team that has as many goals as Kucherov, even there is that big point separation. There is an argument for every single player up Absolutely. there, even no including yeah. Connor McDavid. It could go a lot of ways. To me, I'm just glad there's analytics mm -hmm. that, that you could dive into this. Yeah. And, did, and make a case. Did, did you give us an argument for any one player? I don't recall. Him. It's McKinnon. Yeah. McKinnon's my MVP. Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll go with McKinnon. Yeah. What's your definition he's, of the hard trophy? The Is it because I know a lot of a lot of people say if you remove this player from yeah. their team, yeah, what are you left with? That's you know, the definition of MVP. Hard right. Trophy. And, and I think a lot of years that helps you distinguish between your eventual Hart Trophy winner. To me this year, I, I, I don't know because because that argument, um, that illustration, pulling either of those three players, it, it you know, each of these three teams takes a, I don't know if it all falls apart, but each of these three teams takes a step back. For me, I think the other two uh, McDavid and his Oilers still find a way to the postseason if it's not for Connor McDavid. I think that McKinnon, uh, w without McKinnon, I think, you know, I think you could, I think there's a path for Colorado into the, Oiler, the postseason. You make the, the Oilers make the playoffs without McDavid? I think that's very possible. Hyman? Yeah. Dry sidle? Now, again, McDavid makes those players right. better without question. So it's a difficult, um, you know, illustration or argument to paint. But in my estimation, there, you pulled Nikita Kucherov out of the mix. Now you're talking about a Tampa team that maybe doesn't qualify for the postseason. It, it, again, we're you know we're we're spitballing here. We're yeah. we're you know we're splitting hairs with the three. We're we're discussing a lot of based right on what we see. Yeah. Um, but um, to to me, I I think that argument still benefits Kucherov. Here here where's my argument would go that maybe Tampa does not make the playoffs without Kucherov because that surrounding cast without Nathan McKinnon they might be a wild card team at best Oilers with that big time losing streak at the start of the year if you don't have this guy to pull yeah. you back into the race and he yeah. didn't does, look like the Connor McDavid that we're accustomed to seeing to start this season do, no, do, you, do, do you get out of that big hole without a superstar like Connor McDavid it's plausible that the Oilers don't even make the playoffs they're definitely going to be lower in the standings 
with the, the cast around, there's going to be a big drop in all those teams yeah. without those three superstars. It's, I, I it's think a tough case to make. The interesting thing, the, the interesting case for McDavid is, you know, you, you, and Bill touched on it, you look at the way that group started and the way he started, but then if you, you, you run the splits on McDavid, his first 20 versus the last 50 or so that we have seen, the surge has been remarkable. Remember, he's 20 points back of the number one, the, the Art Ross leader yeah. at, at a certain point in the year. The surge has just been astronomical. The funny part about it is even back in November, we're all saying, hang on. Wait, wait for the push, and yeah, it sure has it's come. Coming. And now, and now they're they're back and forth. And how about that graphic we just talked over, though? Connor McDavid on pace for over 100 assists this year. That would yeah. be just the fourth player in NHL history, and the first yeah. to do it since Wayne Gretzky in the early 90s.